everybody, and welcome to session 11 of our microeconomics class. Um, we're done with all the foundational stuff with supply and demand and indifference curves and budget lines and all of that stuff. Um, and now we're turning for the last few sessions of this class um, to how this all matters for public administration and public policy and why we actually care about this if we work in the public sector. Um, and so today we're going to not do any math. Um, there's no more graphs um, pretty much for the rest of the um, semester, except for session 12, where there's some minimal stuff there with externalities. Um, but it's all based on supply and demand, and you're just moving lines. So it shouldn't be too complicated. There's no calculus. It's just lines. Um, so what we're going to be talking about in today's session is we're going to return to the idea of institutions and why they matter and where they come from. Um, and we'll look at um, kind of an economic perspective on institutions. Um, because you all working in the public sector um, deal with institutions on a daily basis. The public sector itself is an institution. The nonprofit sector is an institution. And these institutions exist so that they can help um, society coordinate better, um, so that they can overcome collective action problems and provide public goods and help prevent market failures and other issues like that. Um, so to better understand how these institutions work, we need to talk about this notion of an institution, first of all. Um, we talked about some of this stuff um, back in session two, when we talked about government institutions and the role of the government in an economy. So we're going to return to some of those principles and then talk about exactly where institutions come from and what they are and how we can kind of theorize, them, theorize about them um, using economics. So let's go ahead and go to the slides and you'll see what we'll do today. So we're talking about institutions and power and inequality. So the plan for today, we just have two sections. Um, we'll talk about institutions and what they mean um, from an economic perspective. And we'll look at a few different definitions of institutions, a few different ways of looking at them um, and thinking about them. And then we'll look, about, or we'll look at the, the relationship between institutions and history and how history shapes the institutions that we face. And this is important too, especially from a management perspective, because often when you get into a new position or a new job, you will have all sorts of cool ideas about how to run it really effectively um, based on all of the skills that you're learning in your MPA and your MPP degree. Um, and then as you try to implement those, those new ideas, you're going to um, run into all sorts of um, roadblocks and it's gonna be really hard to do that. Um, and in part, it's because of history and an idea called path dependency. So we'll talk about that um, and how, how previous history shapes the institutions and the norms and the rules that we have today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 